What's up guys, Mighty here, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, there's a Sportster at the back and there are a bunch of other motorcycles as well because we are here at JSY Gas and Service Station, the place where I work, and this is also where Revolt Cycles is located. Now, if you don't know what Revolt Cycles is all about, I'm gonna put the link in the description below. Now, today's topic has something to do with that Sportster at the back. And um, for the past couple of weeks, well actually years already, um, there have been rumors about the Sportster, the Evolution Sportster that we see here at the back is going to get axed for 2023. Harley Davidson is not going to be producing that model for the next year. And uh, it's a bit of a bummer. Now the Sportster, the XL883 1200 Evolution motor has been around for almost 40 years. And the XL line, if you go way back, has been around for like what, 50, 60 years. So this bike is the one that has the most heritage and probably has the most character among all of the other bikes that Harley Davidson has to offer to us. Now, these rumors, well, rumors are like 50-50. You know, it could be true, it could be not, but with the way things that are going uh, with YouTube and online forums and uh, based also on what we see at the dealership, the Sportster Evo is somewhat like, you know, starting to be getting forgotten by the dealerships. And uh, people are telling that, oh, it's going to be discontinued because they have the new uh, Revolution Max powered Nightster and Sportster S. Which are, by the way, awesome bikes. You know, nothing against those bikes because those are amazing bikes. But again, those also have their own problems, which we'll, we will get to in a later part of this video. So, yeah, rumors. Sportster is going to be dead. Sad. Now, there are a couple of theories why this bike is going to be stopped. Number one, of course, the Sportster S. The Revolution Max Sportster S. The engine that powers the Pan America and also the Nightster, the Nightster 975, and which is the going to be the new entry-level motorcycle for the brand. It is like, you know, if you want to get into the brand, you have to start with an entry-level uh, model, right? Well, most of the time. Each and every brand that we encounter in the motorcycle industry, they always have an entry-level mo motorcycle. Let's say, for example, BMW, they have the G310R Roadster, uh, for Kawasaki, they have those 125s, they have the Ninja 250, 300s, and 400s, Honda with their 250s, the Rebel 500, and so on and so forth, right? The next third is going to be the new entry level. And uh, sad to say, this bike is most likely going to be taken out. Now, there are some things that have been bothering me about, you know, these rumors. And it's not that I'm really affected by it. It's just that it's kind of sad to think about. And from a salesman's point of view, you know, canceling your most popular, your bread and butter model is going to affect your sales, definitely. Now, I have three questions. You know, why? Why is this going to be discontinued? As what you said earlier, Nightster Sports 2S Revolution Max engine is taking over. But here's the thing. Those bikes are amazing. They're fast. They're stylish. They're surprisingly very agile, despite being very chunky, and they're like the innovation. It's like Harley Davidson's way of moving forward to cater to newer riders who want tech and more power. The downside to those bikes is that they're so fast. They're so powerful. Not a, 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 an ordinary guy, you know, who just wants to go out on a motorcycle uh, not everybody wants a fast, powerful, big cruiser, right? Most of us just want a motorcycle that is uh, reliable, uh, affordable, and fun to ride. Now, it doesn't have to be powerful to, you know, you don't have to be riding 100 horsepower or 200 horsepower to have fun. Not unless that is your thing. But in most cases, like, you know, the masses, the general community, they only want a motorcycle that is, again, fun, reliable, and uh, affordable. The problem with sport, again, that's the problem with the sports dress, they're too damn expensive. Now, if you're gonna take this out, how sure is Harley Davidson going to meet 
their demands for the years to come in terms of sales. By canceling out the lowest priced motorcycle, the bike that basically brought a lot of people to the brand, and you cancel it out. And you know, how is the community going to, you know, react? Well, actually, there are a lot of reactions out there already. And uh, what does it do to your sales? Definitely, it's going to drop. But then again, you know, we don't know how Harley Davidson works. It could be, who knows? This could be just a marketing gig, you know, canceling the Evolution Sportster and so on and so forth. Next question that I have about this topic is, uh, again, about the design of the Sportster Evolution. Okay, that engine has been around for 40 years. Okay, that is the engine that has powered a lot of models, you know, ever since it came out. Softails, FXRs, Dynas, Sportsters. It is the engine that has the most heritage that, you know, that represents Harley Davidson's, again, past, you know? That engine is probably the most important engine in Harley Davidson's history. And they're just gonna take it out. But, and here we are, we, we, you know, Harley Davidson has been feeding us this thing of heritage, you know, uh, true classic and uh, attitude and, uh, uh, stuff like that and uh, the Sportster is basically the one that has the most personality among all of the other bikes that Harley has to offer. I'm not saying that those newer engines like the Milwaukee 8 and the Revolution Max are crappy. No, they are amazing bikes. You know, uh, people, there are probably like a hundred engineers who, you know, collaborated to make that engine, to make those engines to give that exhaust note, the vibrations and the performance of you know the newer engines but this engine speaks for the brand itself you know it may not be fast as compared to you know to other bikes it's the probably the very crude engine and uh it vibrates a lot it's probably not the best handling bike in the world but then right so this is the big bummer okay air cooled overhead valve 40 year old engine by harley davidson probably the biggest motorcycle manufacturer in the world. Here comes Royal Enfield with their air-cooled single-cylinder engines and, uh, you know, the 650 Interceptor, BMW with their R18, which is a giant air-cooled boxer twin, Kawasaki with their W800s and 400, uh, basically air-cooled twins. And uh, why do these bikes pass EU emission regulations? And here comes Harley Davidson with their 40 year old engine. Why can't they make that, you know, pass emission regulations? I'm sure there is a way, you know, to make it meet expectations or meet the qualifications. You know, you have so much money in the world, and then all you're going to do is just, you know, cancel the best selling bike ever just because you can't meet emissions. Look at those guys. Royal Enfield. Basically, it's a new brand, re emerging brand. And then they, they meet the, the emission standards. In the case of supply chain issues, I don't think Harley Davidson has the problem, right? Because they are an engineering powerhouse. They are a massive company that have connections all over the world. Uh, they have assembly plants all over the place. And uh, that engine has been around, again, for 40 years, right? You can basically buy an engine like that from the aftermarket. Hey, hell, you can even assemble a Sportster on your own with the aftermarket catalog. But again, you know, not everybody wants to make their own. Not everybody wants to buy a pre-owned bike. Uh, a lot of people would rather get a brand new bike for security. Emissions, supply chain issues. Uh, I, I, I don't see it, you know. Uh, why, you know? Again, part of Davidson, you have all the tech. You have the best techs there. You know, do your thing, you know, make it meet emissions. Now, personally, I do not have a Harley Davidson, but I wish I could, you know, I wish I had one. And uh, I've ridden like the, the, the M8 Street Bob, which is a fantastic bike, by the way. Uh, Soft tail standard, Street Bob, yeah, the Dyna, the Twin Cam Dyna 103. And I've even ridden like the Evolution Dyna, which was like vibrating, you know, a lot. You know, the moment you turn it on, it was just like there moving you know you can see the engine moving there it's like about to fall off and uh it's like uh it's got so much character you know that engine has so much character and uh if i were to choose one bike from harley davidson to have for the rest of my life 
it's not the M8. It's not the twin cam. I would go for the Evolution simply because it is the most prestigious engine that they have. It has the most character, it has the most heritage, and it is the real deal. Okay? That bike is again synonymous with the brand Harley Davidson. pre-owned bike yeah again yeah I, I would you know if I had the money but personally uh, yeah I would you know get a pre-owned bike but there are people out there who do not want to do that because again trust issues they are not confident in you know buying pre-owned so how can Harley-Davidson save the evolution so these are just my thoughts and opinions okay this is just wishful thinking and uh, what's the engine? The Sportster, XL Sportster, one engine configuration, probably 883 or 1200, but let's say that they're going to go with the 883 because that is the most basic and most customizable platform. You can turn it into a 1250 if you want. Do not put all the fancy stuff in your next model. You know, instead of mad wheels, use spoke wheels. Uh, your turn signals, change that to a simple, you know, assembly. As per observation, having a chrome engine is cheaper than having a black engine. You have to change that to chrome. And then remove that crazy key fob. You know, it's so annoying. Go back to a traditional key, just like the Sportster 72 back, you know, uh, the early part of this decade. And uh, basically that's it. You know, sell that as is a bare bones bike, like a, I don't know, Sportster 883 standard, you know, bare bones, no fancy doodads and stuff like that just the bike itself and sell it at a really low price i tell you a lot of people will be buying that you know and uh, with the aftermarket support you know those guys will be very happy because they have continued business also in supplying amazing parts in making your sportster better so those are my thoughts and opinions well it's just me you know who am i i'm just a, a car salesman who happens to like motorcycles but who knows? Who knows? You know, uh, people, you know, like-minded people, you know, who, who are thinking about getting a Sportster. And uh, if in case you haven't heard about this, you know, rumor. Hopefully, it's just a rumor that is leaning more towards being a fake news. Or if it does, you know, really happen. Well, hopefully, Harley Davidson brings it back in the future with the suggestions that a lot of people would want, you know, a bare bones Sportster 883. Anyway, that's it for this video. Hope you like it. Give it a thumbs up if you do. And subscribe to my channel for more content. Anyway, see you next time. Bye.